Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 5 of season 4 2022 in the fixed Ferrari Challenge D-Class Series once again with me driving the Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo 2020. This week's circuit is the Le Mans 24 hour circuit and the date and time is set to the 15th of October 2022 at half 5 in the evening to match the official race time sent out on the season 4 PDF. Same format as before, breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an off board lap and as usual this is filmed before the week has begun so it's difficult to compare lap times but let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this very long circuit. This is nearly a 4 minute lap time so strap in and let's see if we can find some time. There's going to be plenty of time left on the table here because this is a new circuit for me and I imagine many others. But let's get started. You want to be on the left-hand side and as you approach turn one, you want to come right out to the gravel on the left and you're going to turn in flat out to this right-hander with your aim to be half over this curb and half on the track. First braking zone, that white line. Hard on the brakes from fifth, down into second. Come right out to the left, cut in, accelerate, quick lift off to the right and then straight over to the left-hand side. You can hold it to this left-hand side as you go up through the gears. It's flat out through this left, Flat out down through this right, keep it to the right hand side though and then just as you approach this last cone about a car length after that is where we're going to break from fourth down into third gear. Get it turned in, coast into this first corner and then accelerate flat out all the way through this right and then come out to the left hand side of the circuit again. Now watch this carefully, no brakes here, there's no zone really but if you look at the dark patch on the arm code that is roughly where I lift off and turn in. Just a slight lift off the throttle then straight back on. As long as you keep two wheels on the blue and yellow curve there, you won't get a 1x. It's absolutely imperative that you keep your speed through that corner. There was no brakes. Do not brake for that corner. Just lift because you need to carry the speed down this really long straight. Take in the scenery. I don't know if you saw it. There was a KFC back there. There's a few buildings around. I don't recognize any of this. I have driven this a long while back and I don't remember. I feel like the track has had an update. If you know about the update, let me know. Next braking zone is just before, about two car lengths before uh, the 100 meter board. It's definitely slightly before that. Hard on the brakes, down to third gear initially, a, a small acceleration, then down to second gear for the middle apex, and then as you approach the middle of that chicane, accelerate out full speed. You should be on third on the exit, and then you're up into fourth for another long straight. Now, in case that was too fast, be prepared to do exactly the same thing for this next chicane. It's basically the exact mirror image of what we just done except this time we're going to be on the right hand side so we're going to look for our braking zone which this time is going to be the 100 meter board and then watch the gears we'll go from sixth down to third initially there's the 100 meter board hard on the brake sixth down to third as you approach the first apex accelerate out here it is acceleration then dab the brakes again down to second hold it tight to the middle apex and then accelerate out full speed no issues on traction there the rear end didn't want to step out so that was nice and smooth through those chicanes it's now flat out all the way down this next long straight. You want to be on the left-hand side, ready for a tight right-hander coming up. Now, with this next tight right-hander, what you need to be careful of is definitely the rear end as you come into this because it's, you're braking and turning at the same time. You can see initially we turn in full speed in sixth gear, and then the apex of this right-hander is where we're going to brake, and we're going to brake diagonally towards the outside of the track down to first gear, aim for that cone on the outside, then hit your apex and then get straight on that throttle again to carry the maximum speed on the exit. Now you can see on these straights there's plenty of room for racing and there's going to be a lot of slipstream fights of course. I mean it's a long lap, it's 3 minutes 57 I believe this lap was and it's, there's a lot of full speed sections so the racing is going to be quite intense but there are plenty of fast corners where people can pull away as well based on differences in skill level. Still going flat out down this back straight, you want to be on the left hand side as you approach the end of it. Now, watch this. Initially flat out, you're going to lift off as you turn in towards this right. It's important that you lift off at the end of that curve because you're going to brake just after the blue and yellow curve. Just here, you want to brake on the right-hand side of the circuit down to second gear. The track's cambered in nicely. Be careful not to accelerate too early as you exit in third. Back over to the left-hand side. Now you're going to brake just before the 50-meter board. Hard on the brakes from third down to first as we approach this 90-degree right-hand corner. Get it turned in. Accelerate out again. Look at that. Nice and smooth on the throttle. We had to have a quick lift there as we nearly lost the rear end. But then we got straight back on the power and up through the gears. Another flat-out section now before we approach the trickiest bit of the circuit, in my opinion, and where I think I need to find the most time, personally. There's definitely time out there. So if you can find it, then well done. But so far, so good. It's looking fairly tidy. The first braking zone we need to know about through this S section is this green patch. We're going to brake just before the green patch ends, keep it in fifth gear, and start accelerating round. Once you've got to the end of that blue and yellow curve, it's flat out all the way through this left. 
still flat out through this left in fifth gear. Hold it to the left hand side. And now you've got the green light on the right hand side. Just as you pass that, you're going to dab the brakes and downshift into fourth. Hold it tight to the right hand side. Now feather in the throttle all the way through. Keep it on the right. Keep it on the right. Then lift off. Chuck it into this left. Be careful of the understeer as you put the power down. Keeping it in fourth gear all the way through there. Now, over to the right, over to the left, back over to the right. We've got the final chicanes, and then you have completed the lap of the 24-hour circuit. The braking zone, two lines before the pit entry. That's where we're going to break from fifth down into third. I actually go down into second here, but you can get away with third as we accelerate through in second gear. The next braking zone, about car length before the blue and yellow curves on the right. We're going to break. We're going to keep it in second for this final corner. Sometimes you might need first, but I've kept it in second to get the traction on the exit. You can see there, we were feathering the throttle as we mounted the curves. Be careful not to wheel spin and lose the rear end. But there we go. Second was the best exit we could get. First is just too much. And across the line for a 357.6. Same thing again, full speed, uninterrupted. Over to the left, flat out all the way over to the right now, two wheels off the track, brake at the white curb, down to second gear, turn in, accelerate out, quick lift off to the right, back on the accelerator, out to the left hand side. Keep it on the left hand side as you come over the brow of the hill, over to the left, over to the right, looking for that last orange cone, just after that, dab the brakes down to third, coast in, now start accelerating from the midpoint, flat out all the way through this right, back out to the left hand side. Now, just after the bridge, look for the dark patch, Quick lift off, chuck in, back on the throttle straight away. Trust that the car is going to stick. Keep your wheel on that blue and yellow curve and you won't get a 1x. And now you can take a breather. The first technical section is over. You've got plenty of time to think about what you're doing. It's probably, there's the KFC on the right, look. You're feeling hungry, pull over, have a snack. You've got loads of other buildings to take in. You're feeling pretty uh, tense, don't race the people around you. Let them pass, race them again on the next straight. We're looking for the next chicane. Keep it on the left-hand side. Now remember... Hard on the brakes, down to third initially, hit the first apex, accelerate out, dab the brakes again, back down to second, hit the midpoint and then accelerate out. Should be flat out easy from the midpoint of the chicane and up through the gears. And now once again, you're in battle mode, slipstreaming either other people or people are slipstreaming you and they're going to race you down to this next chicane. Mirror image of the chicane that we just did. That braking zone was just before the 100 meter board. The next one is pretty much on the 100 meter board. We're on the right hand side of the circuit. We're in sixth gear. Same thing again. Hard on the brakes at the 100 meter board. Sixth, down to third gear initially. Get it turned in. Accelerate. Dab the brakes again, down to second. Hold it to the midpoint and then from the midpoint, accelerate out and up through the gears. You don't need to mount those curves too much. Definitely don't cross them or you'll get a 1x. Another flat out section now, another slipstream section, and another opportunity for someone to take you out probably into the heavy braking zone coming up. Now remember the heavy braking zone coming up is a diagonal braking zone, so it's hard to send it on someone through here as you're not entirely sure what they're going to be doing. You're going to turn in flat out in sixth gear, brake at the apex point, out to the outside of the circuit, down to first gear, get it turned in and then straight back on the throttle from the apex. You can keep two wheels off the circuit there, you won't get a 1x. And then another flat out section where the battle is going to continue so if you didn't send it on someone there and get the position you can now try and slipstream your way back up this straight this is a nice long flat out section so the racing will continue but it's a very risky corner to overtake coming up now remember you want to be on the left hand side of the circuit and you're going to lift off as you turn in to scrub off a little bit of speed because if you keep this flat then you're going to be on the left hand side of the circuit and you want to be on the right there's the lift braking on the right hand side down into second Get it turned in, coast in, and then be careful on the throttle there. You accelerate too early, you'll understeer off in towards the wall. 50 meter board, hard on the brakes, down to thirst. Get it turned in, and now start accelerating out towards the wall again. Very tricky section. Like I said, if you do that little fast corner back there, flat out, you'll end up braking on the left-hand side of the circuit and narrowing your entry into that second gear left-hander. So really try and be on the right-hand side for that corner. Now, we've got the Porsche curves coming up, the tricky but fast section. Over to the left-hand side, we're looking for the green bit of track. Keep it in fifth, dab the brakes, hold it tight to the right. Now, start accelerating, flat out all the way through this bit. Here they go, still flat out. There was a little confidence lift there by me. Flat out all the way through, over to the right-hand side. There's the green light, dab the brakes down to fourth and hold it tight to the right-hand side. Feather in the throttle all the way through, quick lift off to get it into the left. Now back on the throttle from the apex point, being careful not to run too wide there, because you will get a slowdown. Right-hand side, left-hand side, back over to the right for the final chicane. Now we're going to break just before the pit entry. Two lines before now. Down to third gear or second. Accelerate through this right-hander. Get onto the right-hand side. Dab the brakes again. Keep it in second. Mount the curb. And now start accelerating. Start accelerating from that point, that last apex. And then across the line for a 357.6. I don't know if that's fast, if I'm honest. But it felt like a good lap. It felt tidy enough to post for you guys. And I hope it helps you find some time. 
as usual that is pretty much it from me so i'm going to leave you with this off-board lap be sure to watch this so that you can check the track limits don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and if i don't see you on track this week then i'll see you next week for the next video here on the racing line peace